Hello, friends. I'm going to start a new small chapter book with you called Flatfoot Fox and the Case of the Nosy Otter. It's by Eth Clifford, illustrated by Brian Lies. I hope you enjoy this story. There are a few chapters, and each video will be one of the chapters. Enjoy. Chapter 1. Mrs. Chatterbox Otter. Knock, knock. Someone was knocking at Flatfoot Fox's door. Someone is knocking at the door, said Secretary Bird. I know that, said Flatfoot Fox. I am the smartest detective in the whole world. I know when someone is knocking on my door. Who is there? called Secretary Bird. The door opened. In came Mrs. Chatterbox Otter. Which one of you is the smartest detective in the whole world? She asked. I am, Flatfoot Fox told her. Who are you? And why do you need a detective? I am Mrs. Chatterbox Otter. I need a detective because I am desperate. Desperate? Secretary Bird repeated. Desperate, Flatfoot Fox said. He looked pleased. He always looked pleased when he was about to start a new case. Mrs. Chatterbox Otter nodded. Desperate and furious, furious and miserable, miserable and scared. She cried and sniffed and sniffed and cried. Someone has kidnapped my poor baby. He's gone, and I can't find him anywhere. My poor nosy. He's been kidnapped. I want you to find the kidnapper. I want the monster who kidnapped nosy to go to jail forever. Secretary Bird was surprised. Monster? He asked Fleet Flatfoot Fox. I didn't know we had monsters around here. Secretary Bird had never seen a monster, but... He was afraid of them just the same. There are no monsters around here, Flatfoot Fox told him, but monster is a good word for anyone who is a kidnapper. He turned to Mrs. Chatterbox Otter. Where was your baby the last time you saw him? He asked. Swimming in the river. No, wait, he was going up and down the mudslide. It's such fun. Have you ever tried a mudslide? Flatfoot Fox shook his head. Secretary Bird made a face. Blech. Mrs. Chatterbox Otter didn't wait for an answer. She said, I only turned my back on Nosy a minute to talk to Krabby Crow. Well, not to talk. I just wanted to ask him something. When I turned back, my darling Nosy Otter was gone. Stolen almost from my arms, you might say. Kidnapped. Flatfoot Fox looked at Secretary Bird. Secretary Bird looked at Flatfoot Fox. Do you think she ever stops talking? whispered Secretary Bird. Flatfoot Fox whispered back, never. He stared at Mrs. Chatterbox Otter, who was still talking, and shouted, Stop! Mrs. Chatterbox Otter's mouth stayed wide open. Secretary Bird thought he could see lots of words left over in her mouth. I want you to take me to the place where you last saw little Nosy, said Flatfoot Fox. I'm sure I can pick up the trail of the kidnapper. Why do you call him Nosy? Secretary Bird wanted to know. Mrs. Chatterbox Otter was happy to start talking again. Don't you know? she asked. Otters are very curious. Baby otters are especially curious. Nosy is curious about everything. He... She was still talking as she led the way through the door. Next came Secretary Bird, then Flatfoot Fox. Mrs. Chatterbox Otter chattered. Secretary Bird held his head high so the words wouldn't reach him. Flatfoot Fox wore earmuffs left over from another case. This is an example 
of a beginning of a story. In beginnings of stories, we often get introduced to new characters and find out what's going on in the story that is setting up either a problem to solve or something else that might happen in the world. Can you think of what the problem was in this story that the author has set up for us? Think about what Mrs. Chatterbox Otter was asking the detective. That's a pretty good hint as to what the subject of our story will be. I hope you enjoyed this reading, and I look forward to the next chapter with you. Thank you for watching. Take care.